everyone loves security and especially if you are a part of a digital network then you do want security requirements at higher level but point is that many times your finances are not supporting the kind of security that you need in this particular video we are going to talk about this only hey there my name is rohit kumar and today we are going to discuss a very important topic that how your economics may not favor your network security multiple times so the point is that uh, many times we do discuss this point that uh, we do need money to set up some sort of security and especially in terms of hardware security this money concept to come majorly but when you are discussing the kind of software security then if you are individual user not a part of big network or you are not running your own company then you are not much bothered you may have some sort of pirated software the sort of antiviruses etc but if you are running a firm or if you are a part of a dedicated network where you are consistently involved in sort of multiple like, uh, online activities and especially if your devices are not so powerful to implement the powerful security protocols especially like uh, low power devices the part of iot network or the ecosystem so the twist is that economics or the finances may not favor the kind of security that you need every time and that's why people do say that economics may be the reason for weak iot security and in this particular discussion we are going to see that what are the kind of points that are behind this particular sort of a statement so the point is that whenever we need security then everyone everyone wants good security It means kind of strong or high complexity security so if you are going to have this sort of security then it might be expensive and the reason of expense might be and that uh, you are going to design some complex protocol so that's why you need lot of skilled labor additionally it is a simple point that you need the skilled labor but whenever you launch a product you whenever you launch a particular protocol you do need the strict stress testing and that's why whenever you put a good product into market then it takes some more time to get into it now whenever you are saying that uh, it is going to take more time then why because there are lot of testing stages and many times we don't give due credit to the testers for example in companies also you might have seen that uh, people do always say that i want to be a software developer or the sort of st but nobody wants to be a tester and uh, if uh, somebody is performing the work of a tester then people do look no oh, he is not a developer means he is not a pure tech guy so point is that when we are seeing this sort of scenario then people uh, give a kind of inferior uh, priority to the security kind of uh, means uh, these uh, testing based security kind of jobs so in this particular scenario it's your responsibility to make your products more reliable and this can only be ensured by having multiple loops of testing so if you are going for alpha testing beta testing or the sort of black box white box and so many other type of testings but as many loops as you take it is going to take more time and it is going to enhance your cost but if you are not going to take multiple loops then definitely it may put some sort of loophole into your system that might be exploited by some sort of adversary so first point is quite clear that if you want the strong security then it might be expensive because the product might take long time to come into the market because of multiple security testing rounds second thing the commercial value of the user data usually uh, nowadays means in digital era we are using so many digital apps we are having multiple iot or the sort of mobile devices and every device is hosting numerous apps so in this way whenever we are installing any app do you always read the kind of user policies or the app permissions which it is asking for no we just install the app and that also in its default manner which might be very dangerous so if company uh who is offering some sort of service he is not interested in the kind of say, user security then it is your responsibility to become more aware and consider the kind of concern which might be because of your uh unnoticed reactions or the sort of actions so if uh, there are lot of data hoarded at the uh, provider side then that particular data might be sold to some of the third party and that third party may may make some sort of malicious use of that particular data and every time we use the kind of for example we are using one time app means one time app means a, a particular app we are using only for single time and we are not going to use that again so we do think that okay give the permissions we'll uninstall it and later we are not going to use it 
that particular app might be removed from your phone or some of the devices but it's a particular concerns related to the kind of data it already acquired from your side for example you gave your personal data you gave your pan card aadhar card your email ids your phone numbers all these are necessary and quite important details related to you additionally some of the addresses which are very close to you then that might be a security breach so in this turn the commercial value of your data means the user's data is very much high and if you are not considering this particular points uh, seriously then it might be a security loophole for you in future additionally today we do see that many of the companies are giving some sort of economic benefits to the people and uh, it's a kind of reinforcement learning concept that uh, you are paying for example 10 rupee you are doing a 10 rupee transaction through google pay and you are getting 1 rupee back so you are supposed to get encouraged for using google or google pay sort of activity you know, means uh, applications now if the similar concepts users also have at their side means if you are not offering your data free of cost to the company if in future this sort of business model do come into the market then company will come to the users where kind of uh, on their down knees and uh, they'll ask the users to please give the permissions and we will provide you extra features nowadays whenever we are uh, using a particular application we are not having any special benefit we are just giving the permission why not to have this sort of model that just to provide extra kind of access of your uh, information company need to offer you some sort of extra feature so this sort of model also will come into picture if the people become more aware towards the security reasons third thing the shortage of credible base the credible base uh, might be related to the different sorts of uh, uh security signals for example if there are some certifications or the trust marks for uh, example if we consider the different sorts of isi or other sort of trust marks then they are made for a specific purpose with respect to a particular industry if in software industry also you do have multiple these sort of trust marks or certifications then it will help you to maintain the kind of security trust and trust is very important when it comes to the concept of security so if you are using the products of a reliable vendor then you are not supposed to get much worried but if you are using any third party application which you don't know then it might be a risky job fourth one the cost and the impact of poor security usually we do think that uh, okay we are not a important person and uh, if we are going to use some sort of uh, a uh, loose security application also it is not going to give us some sort of harm but if we are going to offer all our data and uh, later it becomes some sort of uh, security loophole into your system and uh, it might be the reason of uh, some sort of theft or and somewhere or sort of thing then the whole credibility of this sort of uh, act might not be at the vendor side it might be on you means your data got lost and uh, your uh, data uh, went into some sort of a system which uh, might be offering some sort of analytics to the adversaries and adversaries are making use of that particular analytics to just gain more data from your side so the whole uh, blame of this particular incident is on the victim means you because uh, there are kind of uh, security policies for example whenever you are installing a particular application there are some user guidelines if you are not reading the user guidelines or the service level agreements then it might be your responsibility written in those documents that if your data uh, got stolen or some, some theft incident happened then it is not the liability of vendor it is the liability of the user because you deliberately shared your data so the tend to fall the responsibility at the customer or the consumer side it is a risky point so always consider these sort of scenarios very seriously that who is responsible for the cost and impact of poor security if you are the party or you are the victim and you are responsible for the uh, security reasons also then it is not a good situation so if you consider all these three four points is seriously then you will understand and uh, uh it will become very much clear that why economics is not in the favor of iot security because whenever you are going to have strict iot security then you are supposed to have more 
testing cycles. So the first point comes into picture, which is not in the favor of a common user. Second thing, the common user don't want to have the kind of special packages for some sort of service. So that's why companies do ask us some special access towards your data side. And that's why they make some sort of selling of your data and they make money out of that. That is the second point. Third point, that shortage of credible is as you don't know that what are the trusted vendors or what are some of the ways using which you can make some sort of secure transactions, etc. So it might be again a dangerous point and people uh, do make uh, these sort of mistakes and they expose their sensitive data and people or the parties or the vendors may utilize this sort of information. Fourth point, the cost and impact of the core security is always onto the shoulders of consumer, means the user side. So that's why people don't want to go into this sort of issues and they say okay if you want to take information take it but we don't want to be the kind of party which is responsible for some sort of theft or something like that so always if you are going to make iot security strict it is always onto the shoulders of the user or the consumer so that's why always economics favor the weak iot security because people want a uh, cheaper option if we say they don't want to go for the heavy sort of options. And uh, if you are going for heavy security options, then it might not be the solution for all. So that's all from my side. If you didn't like this particular video, please do criticize and let me know that what are the shortcomings. We'll meet in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.